Hey guys, it's me, and I'm here with a continuation of my Hobbit series. So I just came back from watching the newest Hobbit, which is the Battle of the Five Armies, or something like that. And I wanted to give my little review on it. I also want to point out that this time, uh, I actually am filming with my elf ears on. Um, so, yeah. Well, I'm gonna link all of my past the Hobbit reviews, so I did one for an Unexpected Journey as well as The Desolation of Smog, because I've seen all three of them now on opening day. Oh. I'm a big Lord of the Rings Hobbit fan. I named my rats after two characters from Lord of the Rings, so I am a very big fan of the Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit series. With that being said, this movie isn't going to be the most positive, which I am a little bit surprised about. Um, if you get the chance to see this movie in 3D, do it. It's, it's actually one of the only movies that I've seen in 3D that I actually enjoyed. Um, the 3D in this movie is phenomenal. And now I'm just going to talk about it. So, um... A really awesome thing about it is that when the scene, when the movie actually opens up, it connects perfectly to the second movie. It picks up right where the second one left off, and that's awesome. The only issue is that, um, spoiler alert here, um, they kill Smog really early in the movie, and it makes me really upset because the animation of Smog was awesome. It was unreal. It was so and good. And the way they killed them, I thought was kind of lame. I don't know. I felt like there should have been more of a battle, but it, I guess like with the dragon, I don't know how there can be a battle. So I like, I don't know. So they're searching for the Arkenstone, Stone, the dwarves are, and there's a plot twist and I'm not going to tell you about the plot twist, but it was actually really cool. And that was actually probably one of the positive parts in this movie. Um, and then what they do with that is really cool. And then you know, however, when the army starts to form, because obviously you can tell by the title, there's a battle. It the, the, took way too long, and it just, there was a lot of blah, blahness. Uh, there's a few parts in the fight scenes that are really cool. I forget what, like, the big orc guy is, but you know that big guy that has, like, the scars on his face, and he killed, like, Thorne's father or grandfather? I don't remember. Um... But, like, the way that they originally tried to kill him was really stupid. And, honestly, I was going to be really mad if he died from that. Another thing that bothered me about the movie is that there was quite a few scenes that they tried to have, like, comedic relief. But, one, I didn't find them very funny. And, two, I thought that they had them in there way too often. Um, I understand that the whole Hobbit series has kind of had a little bit of, like, laughs here and there. But this movie almost seemed like it was getting annoying with the amount of times that it seemed like they were trying to be funny. Because to me, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings are an adventure series. It's not a comedy or, you know, an adventure slash comedy. Um, a really good thing about the ending of the movie, though, is that it ties in perfectly with the Lord of the Rings series. So that was really cool because I didn't expect them to be able to do that. But they did really well. I don't know. All in all, I feel like the third movie... Um, if you're a really big fan of The Hobbit like I am, then I feel like, yeah, you should go see it in theaters. Um, but if you go see it in theaters, see it in 3D, because it's really cool in 3D. Um, but on the other hand, I feel like if you're not a big fan, I feel like you should just wait till it comes out on disc or, you know, illegally download or Netflix or whatever y'all do. Because all in all, I probably only give The Hobbit like, seven and a half, seven out of ten. Um which is really low for me. Really low for a Hobbit movie. Really low for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And when I went, because my parents came with me, um, they only, I asked my mom and dad what they would rate it just for a movie like this. And my dad said that I was rating it really high and he would have only given it a six. So, and we're all really big fans of the series. So it was, you know, says something. Anyway, so I hope you guys liked that review. It was really difficult to make because I didn't want to give anything away because it just came out today. It is the... I don't know what day it is. I'll put it down here. It's Wednesday. And then I guess until next video, I'm over and out.